if you're watching this video chances are that you're in the market for the best blender for you whether it's for home use or commercial use this video right here will help you pick the right one for you so when it comes to blenders i would personally classify them into two groups which is the regular blender that we have in our kitchen and the commercial blenders now i've picked out one of the regular blenders and i've picked out two of the best blenders when it comes to commercial use so starting with the regular blender that we have one it's affordable two you can easily find it and then three it does the job in the kitchen like blending your pepper and your tomato you can get them from su supermarket stores or any mini marts that is close to you but the areas where this blender is lacking is when it comes to giving you a consistent texture every single time that you use it now this blender is pretty inconsistent and that is one common thing with most regular blenders it's not built with safety in mind it's quite hazardous you can see that it doesn't even have any cover or any lap if you have kids this is not something that you should just leave in your kitchen and your kids are coming in and out it's not safe and it cannot do things that are hard so you're going to be stuck with just doing your pepper and your tomato if you try to do another thing harder like maybe you want to blend your beans you want to make more moi this would have issues blending that or even if it gets to blend it you would maybe need to add a lot of water and the consistency or the texture you're going to get afterwards is nothing to write home about. in so many cases you will have a lot of repair to do when you have this blender in your kitchen and at the long run the cost of the repairs and everything makes the affordability a bit meaningless if you're a single person and you don't have a lot of things to blend and you're not even concerned about getting consistency with anything that you blend then a regular blender would definitely serve you now that takes us to the commercial blenders here with me i picked the two best commercial blenders that um, I've used over time and that is Santos and Blendtec. Santos and Blendtec can do basically the same thing but they differ in some places. So I will start off with Santos. Santos like every other commercial blenders does not come cheap and it is not so accessible like the regular blenders. You may not be able to find it in your normal supermarket but this is an amazing blender when it comes to making um, smoothies when it comes to making milkshakes when it comes to making ice cream like it has programmed blending method for different things that you want to make unlike your regular blender that the, the blade is quite light and just really sharp this is sharp and it's thick and it gets the job done now when it comes to santos this is best for a family to have in their kitchen it is best for a restaurant that offers varieties of things that need to go through a blender if you make mocktails you make smoothies you make um, milkshakes all of those things this blender will give you the best consistent texture every single time when it comes to all these varieties then let us take a look at the exterior if you look at this you would see how much safety they had in mind when they were making this blender the lid is super tight so it's going to be pretty hard for things to spill out of this and even if that happens there is still an external close for the blender so everything that is happening is happening inside of this thing even if the lid goes up it is not going to like splash everywhere or pour out it will still be contained inside of this close so this is brushless it's digital you literally just tap on it like the way you tap on the touch screens of your phone and this is programmable you can program as much of your recipes as you want inside of it the buttons are on here to do so many things you have buttons for mixing you have buttons for making milkshakes you have buttons for smoothies you have buttons for blending things that are really hard so if you have a family that sometimes you need to make them smoothies in the morning some days you want to blend beans for your moi moi some other days you want to just whip up a milkshake or make something for the family or even for your overall kitchen use this is the blender for you this blender would give you chopped up tomato that would look a bit rough and at the same time it will give you a very smooth puree it just depends on how you want it 
So enough of the Santos. Let me tell you about Blendtec. This bad boy over here, I call it the beast, literally. The reason why I call this the beast is because it's somehow like a warrior. If you earn this, the sound it makes makes you know that it's only out to do serious business. Something hard, something that so many other blenders cannot deal with. Now this is the blender if you're running a shop that is busy, that you have to do like from 100 blends upwards in a day. This is the blender for you. The blade is not sharp, it is blunt. The jar is built in a four corner pattern. And this is one of the amazing technism about this. Unlike your regular blenders that is round, the fruit literally has to be going round the blender for it to get blended. When you put your fruits in this, it's the fruit goes by the side of the jar and it literally sucks it in and blends it. If you're looking to start like a smoothie business or if your business is getting bigger and you're looking to upgrade your equipment, this is the blender for you to go for. It needs little or no maintenance. It is so durable and they had safety in mind when they were making this. And the, the blending part is made with steel. It's not plastic. So you, there's no form of overheating or things like that happening which you will get with your regular blender on a normal day. So this blender is awesome. For me, if I have my way, I would want to have this in my kitchen because I would want to have what can do whatever I want it to do, whenever I want it to, to do it. But you can go for this or you can go for the Santos. They both give you the same results. But when it comes to if your juice bar or your restaurant is pretty busy, I won't recommend Santos for you to do that because Santos is a bit on the slow side. It gives you consistent texture, but it is not as fast as the blend tech. We're going to test run these blenders now. I'm going to on it and then you can see how silent it is. And I'll on that one for you to see um, the silent level of it. So this is pretty blending now and it's not that loud. This is the peak. That is basically how this works. No matter what is inside, that uh, peak of the sound is the highest it can go. It doesn't get to start wobbling up and down. Now let's do the same thing for the blend tech. I would on this without closing the jar and then I close the jar for you to see the difference in the sound. So that is basically the reason why they made this cover is to kind of unseal the sound so it's not so loud. The aim is not to make your restaurant super noisy or your bar so noisy and these two blenders are easy to clean. It doesn't take anything. Just lift this up and wash the jar. That is all you need to do and use the towel and wipe this. It is very easy to clean. I'm going to leave a link to where you can get any of these blenders in the description down below. So you can click on that link and get one for yourself. If you want something that will do um, something a lot higher than this, I'm sure they'll be able to guide you on which one for you to go for because they have different varieties. But I'll leave their link in the description down below. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one.